All right. Y'all know the drill by now. Let's see what number it gives us. Three. Shade fucking splitter. No. It's probably worse than Plink. I don't, I don't know. It's hard to say. But it really depends on what we get. Um... Yeah, it really depends. I guess it's pretty nice against, like, Stealth Boss, but... It sucks not... Like, if we get a combo where there's no backline clear, that can be a big issue with Shade Splitter Secondary. We'll hit it here, though. Okay... A little Fade. I mean... It's a little Fade, so it's good, but... This is not, like, that good of a combo, really. We got Crushing Demise, I guess. Tombed Explosive is almost never good with Little Fade, unless we're going Endless Fade. We got the backline clear, though. That's good. Diligence annoying, but uh, if we start with Crushing Demise, this is probably not too bad. So, I think Little Icarus has more for this combo, even though currently we really have nothing for it. I mean, really, Firelight just doesn't have any hits. It's also a first banner Umbra. And a Umbra there, we only have, we potentially only have one Umbra, um, Remnant unit. This is just screaming Little Icarus to me. Plus, Little Icarus is really good against Diligent. We don't want Jack Strips, that'll hurt Icarus in a big way. So I'm almost always taking shards. I might not hear. Anything, I mean, it, it wouldn't really matter that much in the context of Ring 1, but it could matter for the next few things. I think we just don't take shards here. This would have been the only thing it buffs up. I think these spikes are fine. This is the best situation. We even got the easier boss. There's nothing much to complain about here. I don't know how greedy I should be. I mean, I can... I'm gonna try to be as greedy as possible. Like here, I can take... them out. Let's put one of these up here. Like I can I can miss out on one here, that's fine. And we'll just take as many of these out as we can. So nice of you to not give me a rubber morsel finally. Alright, we at least drew that. That's pretty good. We're getting a lot of spikes. We're already off to an incredible start. All we need to do now is find some damage shield and we'll be good. Well, I could have calculated that out a bit better probably, but whatever. Um, Drip Ball is probably the best here. There we go. Look at that grovel. I mean, it's not necessarily the best. I'm not even going to take a number in it. Maybe Umbra actually makes sense here, but... Let's hold over... I mean, this isn't that good of a holdover. Let's hold over a primitive mold and make it zero. And we'll do 10 there. We gotta remove units with somewhat of priority. Not really any spell chains that I necessarily want. Purge one of these is fine. Get, we gotta get shards somehow, right? Like, I gotta get to 100 somehow. Our 
Ark of Invasion. Okay, this is just turning out amazingly. Do that. Um, I don't even think we take them out, man. Really? You're not gonna get me? <sighs> so stupid. Can't draw a single primitive mold in the first two. Well, fuck. Um, so much for the mark of invasion. Uh, it ends up not hardly doing anything for us. In fact, it's probably just going to end up being bad for us. Let's add that to the pool. At least that kills all of that. I'm going to try to be a little bit greedy here. I know I'm almost certainly getting impregnable next turn. Alright. Good thing we got two. Fuck. Alright, that should take a few of them out. That'll take the... No, no, I won't take that one out. I don't think we play those. be as greedy as possible here. We bottom deck the card that we spent money on, as is fucking tradition. Should have done this first, but oh well. Just hoping I could drip fall this down. Well, we'll just keep this on holdover, I guess. Get in there and do your thing. Nice. That's a lot of spikes. Can't really complain, all things considered. I like a burnout extender. Probably nothing here. We want those printer molds to be drawn, right? Um, permafrost would be a good upgrade on probably a few things. I mean, we, we probably want a banner. Uh, we don't need one usually, but it might be nice to have one. I don't know if there's a whole lot of artifacts that do much for us other than maybe... I don't know. Let's see if we can get a good banner here. There's a holdover. Get some money. It's a hold up. It, it, it's a banner for now. It's one of those types. Uh, hold over. I don't mind this. What was at the temple? Is it a minus two? Nope. You do that. Um, so 15, 35, I can take these, 45, 55, with Icarus you don't want to take too many early shards, even though I'm pretty buff right now, still don't, like, you're not going to take out those 75 health tanks at sweep, I think we don't agree, well, that would be an awesome minus two target. I only have two more temples, one of which is at the very end. I think if we're going to invest in a holdover, we might as well make it playable. Um, I don't think we even spend that money. Let's see what we got here. This is a definitely time I'll take that. That's incredible on, uh, you know who, Little Icarus. That is going to be good. If I can intrinsic it with Firebox, that'd be hilarious. Well, do we want a convolute or pool here or what? That would 
be down to just do this to get the uh, burnout ticker going and the health going. He would technically die. Nope, he would survive. Alright, alright. What am I missing here? Five, five, yeah, tw exactly. Tw okay, whatever. Well, so much for the reform pool. Uh, I guess at least we got one of these on holdover. Let's get them all, boys. Ah, shit. It's uh, stealth. You know what? That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Just put you there anyway. Finish that off. You have 43 spikes. You'll have more. This would have been the turn to get that on. But yeah, we'll just take them all out. That's fine. the top with us. Kill them all and die. Seems good. We finally got that. We're just bottom decking the... We are master bottom deckers, are we not? Alright, this is fine. Um, sure. Pretty sure now that I can get some damage shields stacked along with. Uh, oh, and we got that. Perfect. Uh, no need to keep that on holdover. Just do that, I guess. Yeah, that's a kill. Boom. Alright, we earned 60 gold from that fight. Not bad. Oh, that's really good. That's better than Burnout Extension. Yeah, it's an easy take. And we got a much better permanent scaler already. So, sorry, Overgorger. I don't think that that card's very good, honestly, anyway. Has to be draw. I can't think of any Umbra unit I would want. I'd rather just hell vent here. Cleansing water, good. If they have damage shield and whatnot. Spikes, it's probably good. Um, I'll keep the banner for now, I might need it. Uh, I'll just remove the entombed explosives maybe. I don't know. What do I hell vent? Maybe I just hell vent thy holiest shield. Am I going to be able to get my shards? I fucking hope so. Um, I could put Tycoon into something. Um, I really do think that this is just going to be the play. Go full Icarus, of course. I don't know that I need the money. Fucking party boy can't be underestimated or overestimated. I got 67 spikes. I think this is fine. Not the best turn to draw some of these, but whatever. Come on, brother. What the fuck you doing? Um, I guess we're just going to have to convolute the pool here a bit, because I'm not taking that power damage. It's just way too much power damage. Okay. What if I jump block with this and burn out extend and eventually wickless recruit? 
I have too much in the uh, the pool, I think. Yeah, this is risky, but I think this is what we have to do. We can hopefully eventually get this figured out. I think we're done trying to be greedy with spikes. So I lose both damage shields. Yeah, I think we can't be greedy here. We're in danger of losing, so... Okay, this is good. This kills that. Not, I don't want to underestimate Party Boy. I'm going to just keep these out. That way if I have to reform her, I don't have to contend. I already have to get that out of the pool. There's just enough things that I need to get out of the pool. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm over, I guess I'm overestimating a single striking Party Boy, maybe. I don't know. I also might not hit my Wickless Recruitment, though, so there's that. I didn't hit it. Fucking stupid. Whatever. We should hit it next turn then. Alright. I hate that fight. Barely any spikes gained, but it is what it is. Um, additional reform. I doubt we need that. Yeah, we might need some fodder for diligent. I just don't think we need that. None of these are really good either. We really won't be taking much more. We got that hope for peace, so we're good. Hope for an intrinsic here. Yes. Intrinsic double stack coming up. Spell chain. Spell chain there is fine. I can't think of much else I need to spell chain. Other than like wickless recruitment. Gotta get our shards somehow. It's like it's it is technically redundant with wickless recruitment, but as we saw there, I'm not always gonna be able to guarantee I draw that. Uh, not Hellhorned, probably Awoken, because we could have got Adaptive Mutation. Tell you what though, Awoken's Rail Spike works for me. And it's probably time we just removed the units. They are the dead weights in the deck at this point. How about that? No, oh, having that. Could have that. Pretty sure we're just having this. Um, so I'll, I'll get up to 80, and I can just save two units to get my final shards if I don't have anything better. Which is likely the case. That helps me. Alright. 20 damage shield, probably enough, right? It'll be a tough one from here on out. Um, and I guess technically this might help. Sure. One more of them in the uh, the pool here. Bye bye. 
Easy peasy. That I will not take. That's too much of a liability. No need. No need. I don't mind an Ember Cache against Diligent. Plus, I could help my cycle back through the damage shields. Maybe go here, though, try to get a consume remove on one of them. Yeah, let's consume remove one of them. Um, let's not be greedy and let's just bring it back down to a normal cost. Uh, ten there's fine. Holdover. I don't know that we really have great holdover at this point. I mean, honestly, yeah, I don't think we have one that we want to make there. Make that zero is fine. I don't think we put the 10 there. We're going to have to take that for the shards. Uh, so we got to keep both these around, unfortunately. So let's just get rid of Shade Splitter, I think. Getting rid of spells, but what are you gonna do? I'd rather I'd rather get rid of them. And I mean I might as well play the one that doesn't consume, right? Hellborn Harvest? Well, that won't be happening. I got a shade splitter, but whatever. It wasn't really worth my click, I feel. I can keep that in case I do end up dying. I don't think I keep that on holdover, though. That's fine. I think I... Do I greed for this, or no? Probably pretty greedy to not play that. I've got a lot of the others coming through the... The works here. Let's hope we can just get into one of them. We don't. I'm just gonna play one of these out. There's no real reason to keep cycling back into it. Alright, well, we might as well play the one that uh, doesn't consume. Pretty sure we've won this fight. Alright, let's go hard on this. That at zero is not horrible. You're dead. <laughs> yeah, definitely glad we went Icarus instead of Firelight. I could take one more of them. I mean, against Divinity, I might be dying a decent amount of times. Not really. I don't think we need it. So, Ember or Draw? I think still Draw makes sense. Okay, more Vortex. We have nothing at the Steel. We don't really have anything at the Trinkets either. Nothing really at the Caverns. Trinkets could get us an X cost artifact, I guess. Blind take that, because like I said. I mean, 5 health, probably really not doing much for me. I could take this, though. It's probably not worth it, honestly. I'll do it, though. No need. Spikes, heal. I don't want it. I didn't want it. I'm Jon Snow and I didn't want it. Full icky. Little icky. Remember back when I sucked with Little Icarus? Those were the days. We'll go top here. Ember drain while we're at it. And 
Let's get rid of the other one, I guess. I don't know. I like the one with the shiny thing with it. I mean, these vote wings are gonna run through this, but what are you gonna do? Multi strikers should only be helping me out. though we're top floor and stuff all right this is a great turn to draw these on yeah we're not losing now we have so many spikes for a pretty high spikes run here. Um, Hellvent or Merchant of Magic. So we can get 25 shards going self-infused tomb if we have to. Um, yeah, definitely the Merchant of Magic has better stuff unless I really think there's like a great Hellvent. I mean, honestly, the this Holiest Shield is not a horrible hell vent. Uh, I don't know though. I think I'll just go this route. Purge Spell Chain. Hmm. Maybe. Double stack. Yes. Look at that. Oh, that's ridiculous. Um, hmm. <laughs> Might as well, right? This is beautiful. Um, I mean, that won't go into the reform pool. It'll just give me extra health right off the bat. I doubt we want that, though. It eats up the uh, chain of gems somehow some world that makes sense in. Uh, it's a pseudo-remove, it's fine. Hold over. Again, nothing to really hold over. Um, so we'll just take probably this down. And... I don't know, what is the best here? Purging out the Shade Splitter, or... I think Purge and Spell Chain I like. I just don't know exactly what I Spell Chain, but I'm thinking maybe this, oddly enough. It really helps the, the recycle on these. It helps, yeah. And then we're at 105. And we can just remove these now since we didn't end up needing them. I think that's fine. This is pretty good. Uh, the rest of the money can be spent, I guess, on removal still, because nothing else really makes sense. The other Shade Splitter can just go. And... Weird of me to do this, but honestly, the, I just... Well, we might want the Crushing Demise for the Light Wings to sneak by. I, I could just hold this gold. I, I don't really need to to get rid of much more. It's a 21 card deck and double draw. Is it really needed to, to do much more here? I think this is fine. Let's just fight. I guess I could have bought a trinket that was not going to do much for me. Probably, I guess, Trader's Quill would have been nice to take. Hmm. Uh, 
gonna do this, I think. And, like, we don't have to be so greedy here. 34, yeah. Actually, yeah. Alright, what do we want to burn here? This thing, probably? Sure. Um, yeah, I guess that takes them out, doesn't it? We can burn that. It's fine. That's what we're doing, eh? Here, you can have uh, one more shield. You've, you've earned it. The little morsel that could. Fuck that thing. Well, hello there. Always nice to have a diligent die an embarrassing death. Flawless victory. <laughs> I mean, you can't, it, it's like, yeah, the licorice, but you also can't deny, I mean, I don't know, Thy Holy Shield, I guess, could have gone with anyone, but the thing is, Prismal Dust exists, we didn't find it here, it's obviously half as good as Holiest Shield, but it does the trick almost just the same on a lot of runs. This, this run with Prismal Dust would have probably been about what it ended up being, even though it like, I know that's ridiculous to say, because it's literally half as much damage shield, but how often have we even gone down to enough damage shield that it would have been half, right? So, yeah, still think Umbra has pretty good synergy with a lot of these clans. Oh, I thought we had a cleansing water, I guess we fucking don't. <laughs> fucking ridiculous. Literally didn't hit any of them because it's a piece of shit. Well, I guess we're taking pyre damage probably. As if we needed it there. As if we needed it there. Well, I guess we could do that. Who knows, maybe we can finish that off with something. Had I taken the Traitor's Quill, we'd have been fine. But I didn't. Ah, uh, hope for peace. Ah, <laughs> uh, can't kill that with morsels. Maybe I can just get lucky and draw back in to Crushing Demise. Not even close. Beaches. Oh, we're gonna get a 
big one here. That's what she said. <laughs> Tough run. Tough run. Still got the light flying kill. I'll take it. Well, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Right from the get go, that was just an incredible Icarus run. But yeah, Holy Shield, probably the highest roll you can get with uh, Icarus. Well, that's not true. I think Adaptive Mutation is actually a higher roll, but, you know, we had the we have the combo of firebox and that, which is just ridiculous. What an even nice score of 6100. Yeah, MVP to just firebox plus Holius Shield and Icarus. We literally didn't have a banner unit. It's often the case with Icarus that you just don't want a banner unit by the end of it. I mean, if you have 497 spikes and a way to survive, it's probably all you need. Anyway, that'll do it for this one. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time...